Thank you so much. Yes, you led me to an errand. You persisted, even though I was sure all you were going to find was a dead end. I will never be able to repay you for what you've done for me. Finding an errand allowed me to bring that chapter of my life to a close. I feel free. A great weight has been lifted off my heart. This moment, it feels like the moment before the sunrise, when all the world is still, holding its breath, waiting for first light. I can stop thinking about my past and look forward to the future. Thank you, my friend. You will always have my gratitude. Ah, I see it found some of the crystals that I told it about. Well done. So, what does it think? They don't make me look any wider, do they? I find I'm already too wide as it is. They are, aren't they? I so adore them. I think it should find some more as soon as possible. I want to glitter from ear to ear, so to speak. Oh. It doesn't have better things to do. Oh, how interesting. Certainly I remember having a master. My memories of what happened to him are vague. Clever and true. Oh, very well. Let me see what I can recall. My former master enjoyed experimenting upon me. I remember that much. There was tinkering with spells and then the crystals. He was very eager to alter my function, I think. Bah, I am no mage, and he did not explain himself to me any more than it would explain itself to a sword. He possessed my control rod, and back then it would have prevented me from doing anything he did not command me to, no matter how I might have wished to. So what happened? I am unsure. He was experimenting, and then nothing. And then he was gone. I was standing where I was, in the village, and I could no longer move. The villagers came, poked and prodded me in fear, and then realized they could neither move me nor destroy me. So they simply left me. And in time, I forgot I hadn't stood there all along. <sighs> in fact, at first, I found it more of a relief. For so many years, I'd had to leap to that little toadstool's every command. Get this, pick up that, put it down, pick it up again. The gall! At first, I'd hoped he'd simply decided to leave me there paralyzed. An acceptable trade-off. After years passed, I simply stopped caring. Hmm, possibly. Except that he was not experimenting with the crystals at the time, I think. But my memory is not good. It may be correct. Whatever the mage did seemed to render the control rod useless, for which I should be thankful, yes? And provided it doesn't decide to copy his experiments, not that I would allow it, it is nothing to fear from me. Much. The things that it fights, and it fights things often, that is a different story. Let us get back to the walking and the fighting. My stone is beginning to itch again. If there's anything... Friends are formidable. Hmm. 
I'm to keep this, am I? Fine. I'm to keep this, am I? Fine. I've watched a lot of humans in my time. It should be aware that I've decided that it is not much like any of them. Surely it must come from some superior lineage, yes? Some breed of flesh creature that has decided to elevate its genetic stock above its natural shortcomings? Oh, then that must be it. I knew there had to be some reason, it being a human and all. I would appreciate if it didn't spread around that I said anything. Humans might start to get the wrong idea. They might start thinking their race is not completely hopeless. It is quite welcome. Now, let us crush something into a fine paste before it starts to think I've gone all soft. Perish the thought. Yes. 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 This won't take long. from Oswin, the region strung them up like foxes. I've told you what I know. Gain will not suffer. Vieta, this land is held in trust for the sovereign dwarven kings. I cannot allow entry at this time. King Loghain demands the allegiance of the Desher, or lords, or whatever you call them in your assembly. I am his appointed messenger. I don't care if you're the king's wiper. Orzammar will have none but its own until our throne is settled. Who doesn't? If I don't get in, no one should. Orzammar has no king. Endrin Iduken returned to the stone not three weeks ago, sick over the loss of his sons. The assembly has gone through a dozen votes without agreeing on a successor. If it is not settled soon, we risk a civil war. The Wardens killed King Caelan and nearly doomed Ferelden. They're sworn enemies of King Loghain. Well, that is the royal seal. That means only the Assembly is authorized to address it. Grey Warden, you may pass. You're letting in a traitor? And a foreigner? In the name of King Loghain, I demand that you execute this stain on the honor of Ferelden. I... I will at that. I'm a messenger of King Loghain. Kill each other as you will, but take your sodding fight off my doorstep. Oh, my God. 
You've done me a service. That fool Imrek was barking for a week. Are all humans so touched? You are free to enter Orzammar, Grey Warden. Though I don't know what help you will find. Trust follow, Warden. How magnificent. Your arrival is a mixed These blessing. must be the statues of the Dwarven that Paragons. Not our infighting, but your presence... Now that's a thing of beauty, daughter. If you work hard like Branca, all Orzammar will know your name. Mother, I don't want to be like her. She... Don't say that. Not to me, not to anyone. Now get back to the forge. I want to see more details. Yes, Mother. So, uh, here is a question for the Painted Elf. Painted Elf? Oh, that's me! Oh, I do like that. Am I to understand correctly that the Painted Elf is a crow? Not literally, but yes, I am a crow. As in a bird. Is there another sort? So the Painted Elf assaults helpless statuary with its feces. If given sufficient cause, why not? That is outrageous! The Painted Elf will stay away from me, or else. I get a lot of that. It is the Assembly who makes a king, and a king who nominates his successor. None of it is carried in the blood. Or, as now, when someone tries using the Assembly to pull a coup. Who's to say what my father said in his final hours, when the usurper Harrowmont was the only one by his side? I'll have you thrown in prison. You've bitten off more than you can chew! Handlers, separate these dashers in the Diamond Quarter. I will not have Balin incite a riot. Not speak that way about the man who should be king! it may be able to answer elder mage must it always be elder mage i'm not a wizened old crone just yet would it prefer mage well past her prime don't mind the sagging bits you have an odd way of requesting answers to your questions i'm curious about the abominations of the tower is it possible for such a creature to become human again yes it is simply very difficult it requires travel into the Fade. And? Is the mage the same afterwards as the mage was before? No, I have never met such a person, but no, they are changed forever. I understand. Thank you for the answer, wise one. Uh, excuse me, I, um, do you have a moment? You look like you're not from around here. I've been trying forever to find someone who really knows the surface world. I, I don't suppose you've heard of something called the Circle? Oh, my lady, it's an honor. I've never met an actual mage. Is it true you can manipulate nature's forces with your mind? Like you were born with lyrium in your veins? Don't let the glamour fool you, child. Wielding magic is a dangerous occupation and a great responsibility. I've been trying to reach someone there for years. I've sent missives with every caravan, but I never get a reply. I want to know if they would accept me for study. That 
that would be wonderful. My name is Dagna, daughter of Janar of the Smith cast. Tell them I've already begun reading the Taventer Imperiums for Tikum Kadab, and it's just fascinating. Did you know the Imperial Magister Lords once had genealogies of every human family known to produce a mage child? <gasps> oh, I'll go pack my bags right now. I'll be waiting by my father's shop. Greetings, and welcome to Garen Garenson's Luxury Goods Shop. Wow, there are a lot of you. And I've never seen one of those before. The things they come up with. What was I saying? Right. Yeah, I have some lovely things here. Uh, Lyrium. Enhanced, of course. I'm sorry, did you have an offering for the ancestors? Although, I can't imagine your ancestors reside in the stone. My name is Vilda, widow of Turok of the Smith Cast. I pray here every day for my son, Ruck. I only wish I knew whether I should be asking for his safe return or for the ancestors to accept his soul. It was five years ago. He was only a youngster. He joined a Deep Roads excursion, the only smith to go with the warriors to repair their arms. He was so proud, but he got separated somehow. When they came home, he wasn't with them. How? There is no way except to brave the Deep Roads yourself. So you could do it. Only wardens face the deep roads without a company packing them. Oh, thank you. The ancestors finally heed my prayers. Take heart, good widow Filda. We'll do our best. Hmm. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. We could search the deep roads for decades with no sight of the boy. Please, find me as soon as you return. <laughs> 